Hello everybody and I hope you're having a fantastic day and in this video I'm going to be talking about the update that just came out or the maintenance that it just ended. Okay so we got the Christmas campaign, they re-uploaded the Christmas campaign or they added like a part 2, I'm not exactly sure but this is another Christmas campaign they came out with a couple weeks before this one. This is the items they added in the gift shop so you can obtain these now in the gift shop. Well not obtain these but you can give this to other people and they can give this back to you if anything in the gift shop. And then these are also here as well, so these are back as well to pretty much claim the day. Uh, we got the uh, gem spawns, they're free one time a day. XP proficiency in gold are times 60 amount like usual. Uh, great augmentation success rates are up. Login bonuses, we have now one gem a day. So on top of the login bonuses we've been having so far with the awakening orbs, the SSR tickets and what's on out, we're having one gem per day as well. So that's very freaking awesome. We got the Tapsy packs, the Unlock Potential packs are back, so that's very, very good. And they added all the stuff to the Friend Point spawn, so you can obtain all of this in the Friend Point spawn now. All obtainable through there. Okay, so the next thing we have is... Give me a second, I didn't mean to do that. The Unison Guild Raid. Now, I don't like how fast they rush things. I'm already working on this event, they don't need to add more events on top of it. But yeah, they're going to decide to anyways, regardless of that. So yeah, that's just pretty dang nice. In about six, well not exactly six days, in about a week from now, we will be dealing probably with the guild raids. So the guild raids are going to be coming out in a week from now. So yeah, they came out with Ares. I think they're all doing the, um, what's it called? They're doing the uh, fire all the way for this month. So that's very nice. They're keeping on track with that at least. They're not going all um, split up like for just straight up elements. They're just keeping it fire. That is very cool. But it's annoying how much they've added just in one time. It really is irritating because you got to focus on this. You got to focus on that and all that stuff. And it's just, I don't even like it to be really honest. But anyways, moving on from there. This is another example of that. They have the Jewel of Seven Dragons, Hellfire Ruby Dragons. So they came out with the Fire One Now event. From Fire One Now. And this is what I'm talking about. They added the Hellfire Ruby Dragon. So they finally came out with the Fire One. This is what they have. The recovery effects are reduced by 70%. Usually, like usual, only water element unison attacks are allowed. I might be able to do this one. I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> They are looking for elemental, definitely elemental. You're going to want water elemental for this. If you don't have water elemental, you are absolutely guaranteed. It don't matter not to be able to do this like whatsoever. These are like some of the hardest missions they have in Unison League available. Seriously, these are freaking hard. They're stupid. The whole concept of the 40 cost dragons in the first place is for guild battles. When you're doing guild battles, they have they offer so much battle score. When it comes to unisons and you do the battle, they offer so much battle score that if you manage to um, pop these monsters, if the person, like the other team doesn't have it, I'm not going to say they're guaranteed to win, but like it offers so much score because they're like the only 40 cost literally in the game that is just straight up ridiculous. So yeah, that's pretty much the whole concept and what's not behind these monsters and why they're good. Their abilities, their skills, the stats are okay. I mean, there's something to be fairly honest. Um, but the default stats are great, but they don't have any awakening, so there's really no point in just really just going for these monsters. Just for that. They're just straight up good for guild battle score. That's pretty much all they're used for, like whatsoever. So yeah. And then these are the materials to reforge them. I never had one, so I don't know how much it's gonna take. I'm assuming it's gonna take around two to three. Not 100% sure, but yeah, you can have these drop from anywhere. You're guaranteed to get one if you complete one on extreme. I think the higher you go, the more chances you will actually have to actually obtain these. So that is very, very nice. Okay, so yeah, when it comes to uh, the elemental advantages, you're going to want to stack as much water as you can. I think the bare minimum people will take. If you're a DPS class, people will be looking for 20 bare minimum water attack. And if you're a tank or any class, to be fairly honest, I think they're going to be looking for a bare minimum of 200 water defense. So <laughs> this is really heavily orientated around both gear score 
and elemental this is not just an elemental thing if you have somebody out there that thinks elemental is like the only thing they need they're dead wrong gear score is also going to be playing a part especially if you're dps because the elemental attack is based on percentages they don't give a fixed number of whatever for a however amount of elements you have it's all going to be based on how much regular attack you have like how much gear score you already have for your attack and magic attack it's going to also increase how much um, how much the elements will give so the higher your attack and magic attack the higher your boost from the um elements will be the elemental attack that is so yeah that's going to be based on that it's not just um elemental it's gear score as well you're probably going to want at least at least if you're doing like the very bottom one the 300k one you're at least going to want to have 500 at least 500k as far as i know so yeah that's pretty much it for this video i hope this helped out and i will see you in the next video this is the azrath oh wait 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 wait. there's also something they added that they didn't tell you about at all within here it is in the options you are allowed to show your lobby pet finally they added that they said they added it a while ago but they didn't really and they could hide other players names as well so if they get on your nerves you can hide their names if you really want to so with that being said now oh well it turned me to the, return me to the title screen to reflect changes now that they um now that i covered everything thank you for tuning in thank you for watching i hope this helped this is the azrath that i'll catch you in the next video i'm out push